Okay. Our whole life is a collab. Our, literally, our whole life is a collab. Follow her around everywhere. Hi. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Kinsey and Lowe. Today, because um, it is May, close to college graduation time, we thought we would kind of do a reflection on our first year out of college and give you some tips and things that we learned along the way in the first year that might be helpful to any of you now graduating who are overwhelmed with the idea because it's scary. I'm still overwhelmed and it's been a year. Right. <laughs> I can't believe it. Not over it. Okay. <laughs> Not okay still. But hopefully these tips will be a little bit useful and make transitioning into the real world and being an adult a little bit less painful. It's not so bad. We make it work. We make it work. Just some changes. Yeah. It's all about change, people. It's an adjustment period. You gotta be flexible. Adaptation. You gotta just go with the flow. Because yep. otherwise, it's gonna be hard. Yep. That's probably the number one key. That wasn't even one of our tips, but look at that. But I feel like that's a really good overarching theme. Yeah. Be flexible. Be adaptable. Mm -hmm. You go won't get disappointed. Flow. Agreed. <laughs> okay, well, with that said... Okay, let's go. So we are both gonna give two tips, and then we kind of have one that's a mutual. It's a collab. Yeah, it's a it's a collab. <laughs> I love that. So my first tip is save your money. So when you graduate college and you maybe start your big kid job, it's really exciting because you start getting these paychecks, yeah. Yeah. and so that's really exciting. And it's super tempting to go and buy you know the trendy item of clothing or you know AirPods or whatever you're wanting. Yeah. But it's even more fun if you save your money, and then once you save your money, you can move in to a super cool apartment with your best friend. It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so my number one thing, save your money, because also you never know what's going to happen, and sometimes as an mm -hmm. adult, surprise expenses get thrown at you. When you're... <coughs> Car, Mercury Retrograde. Right. <laughs> Literally Mercury Retrograde. Literally the peak of Mercury Retrograde. Right. That's story for another time. <laughs> So sometimes things are just thrown at you and it's better to be prepared and then you can be a real adult and not have to stress about it as much. I mean, you'll probably still stress, but not as much. So my first tip is save your money, at least a little bit of it, as tempting as it is to spend all the fun new adult money. I agree. I concur. Absolutely. Okay, so my, I guess our next tip, my tip, mm -hmm. is to grow at your own pace. Don't compare it's very I know that it's so much easier said than done mm -hmm. I've done it I still do it but if you can try not to compare yourself to other people and their situations mm -hmm. it really will help you this goes for getting a job it goes for you know maybe staying at home a little bit longer before moving into an apartment like it's so easy to see what other people are doing mm -hmm. and it you really can get very down on yourself and I think if you can really look outward and just focus on your own journey as cliche as that sounds but really just focus on yourself this is your life this is your career it's your living situation it's your savings it's all these things that other people might be doing differently than you this is what your life is gonna look like mm -hmm. so that's what you have to worry about so just grow at your own pace. Adulthood is different for everybody. Right. And if you're a little bit late to the game or you're finding that you have to grow up a little bit sooner than some of your friends, it's totally okay. Yeah. Um, but just just know that, you know, everybody's situation is different. So totally agree. My next tip for graduating college and being an adult would be to find a hobby. So when you graduate college, it's some people, you know, stay where you went to school. Some people move home. Some people move to new places. Everyone just kind of scatters. Mm -hmm. And so you might be used to, you know, every day you and your friend go to a workout class together. And that's like your thing. Or you go to a club meeting or whatever. And then you all of a sudden graduate and you're left with your job mm -hmm. and kind of nothing else. And it can get overwhelming and boring. So my biggest tip would be find a hobby or get out there and go find something new. Try something new. We joined a kickball team. I know. It's not on brand. If you know us, <laughs> that's hilarious. Our that friends <laughs> like to tell us it is too. So, like, but we've met really great people. Yeah. And so, it gives you something to look forward to yeah. too. It's a big part of it. Exactly. It gives you something to look forward to. Something to do after work. You don't just come home 
cook dinner, sit on the couch, go to bed, wake up, go to work. You know, it adds a little bit of spice mm. into your weekly routine. 100%. And so find a hobby, take up pottery. Maybe you want to start painting. Maybe you love rollerblading. Who cares? Do something. Love it. Yes. Super inspirational. <laughs> Everyone's gonna go start to find rollerblading. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, and that honestly is such a good segue, not even planned, but a really good segue for my next tip, which is your day to day is not gonna be the same no. as it is in college. And I think that is it's so I'm so glad that you brought that up. And the same goes with your friendships. Like the good news is is that if you if you're you and your homies are as tight as you were in college, the odds are is if you work at it, you will still be just as close as when you were like a balcony away from them. Mm -hmm. But the key is, is that the way you go about these friendships will be different. So like, yeah, I can't like scream down below at like my friends that were living in the apartment below and be like, hey, let's go get coffee. <laughs> like, it's not going to work like that. But I will say, like, I will go out of my way to FaceTime and call my friends because, as cliche as it is, that's the closest thing to seeing that them. you have is to seeing them. But it's like, if you just do it, and like, honestly, I know everybody's really busy. So, like, a lot of my friends are still in the Midwest. So, like, I will, like, keep in mind what the time is for them. Right. But you know what I do? Like, I find, because I've, you know, I've planned FaceTimes and calls with people. And that it's kind of like when you, like, see somebody and you're like, oh, let's hang out soon. And then you don't. Like, yeah. It's like, because everyone's so in their own life right now, even though they might still be your best, closest friend, right. they're really into what they're doing, and so are you. So, like, I will literally just, like, I, I won't even plan it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll just, I, I will just call, or, and I will just FaceTime. If they're not available, they'll just be like, oh, can I, you wait, like, an hour? And then, like, you'll FaceTime them in an hour. But, like, it guarantees that, like, you're keeping up with the conversations, you're still knowing what's going on with them, mm -hmm. and, like, I know for me, like... Like, I would want to hear this if I was graduating yeah. right now because that was the hardest p piece for me. And I am here to tell you that if you pick up the phone, FaceTime and call them, it might not be every freaking day. <laughs> like it probably it won't be. And it won't be. But I will guarantee you that it will be the exact same. Like, you will feel like no time has passed, mm -hmm. even with less frequent communication. Totally. And right. I want that to be comforting to all. Because it's definitely scary when you're so used to spending every single day with these people. Yeah. And, like, you live with your best friends or whatever. Yeah. And then you all of a sudden leave and you're like, oh. You're like, I don't text them every five seconds. Like, yeah. I'm not Snapchatting them every day. day. Like, are we like, still friends? But are you still, are. But you are. I promise. I promise <laughs> you are. Honestly, you probably are even more because you're able to maintain a friendship from miles away. Long distance friendships aren't easy. They're not easy. But they were. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay. That's okay. it for me. Sorry. And then our final tip that's kind of, that's our, it's our collab. It's our collab because we agree a hundred and million percent because it was our realities. Both of us. It was our realities. Mm -hmm. So don't say yes to the first job you're offered if it's something you really don't want to do. I know when I was graduating and I'm sure this is exactly the same for everyone's situation all the girls in my major, I was in a very small major, there were only 15 of us, and like all the girls in my major were like, I got this job, I got this job, I got this job, and I still hadn't gotten a job, and so I was like stressing, like, oh shoot, I need to get a job before I graduate. I can't graduate without a job. Well, here's a fun fact. You can, and it's gonna be okay. And I was so amazed that on graduation day, this was me at my school, but on graduation day, the people who had jobs lined up was so fewer mm -hmm. than the amount of people that didn't. Yeah. They were like, oh, I have some leads, or I might not have any at all. Yeah. But, like, people just weren't talking about it, and I think that's important to know. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest things is, like, everyone gets stressed out, like, oh, I'm going to go home, or I'm going to, you know, all my family's going to come for graduation, or I'm going to see all these people, and they're going to be like, what are you doing with your life? Ugh. And you're like, oh, well, mm, I don't know yet. It's fine. Number one, like, you just graduated college. Take a second to breathe. Trust me, take <laughs> a second to breathe. I graduated college, drove back from Texas, had jury duty, and then started my job the next week. Don't do that. <laughs> just don't. Like, you're going to be exhausted and hate it. 
Don't do and that to yourself. Don't. And like, you know, it's okay if you're if you get offered a job and it might be, you know, on paper a really great job. Look into other factors yeah. too. Like you could also get swept up in some flattery. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, maybe you knew them before, maybe you didn't. Right. And you might feel really flowered flattered like wow they're like after me they really want me but like ask the important questions are there benefits like what are you paying me what are you paying me like these are other things that you are going to want to look at with every job that you're considering because flattery is really nice yeah. but odds are if somebody wants you that bad enough someone else is going to want you just as badly at a true company. great points <laughs> also your first job out of college doesn't have to be your career. No, and people like, switch. Keep yourself open. Like, if you say, I'm not going to work in this field, and then something gets passed along your way, you never know what's going to come your way. Take you know? a look. You Blend could, in here. You could get a really great opportunity that you never knew existed because you had the opportunity, or because you took the chance to just listen to what someone had to say. So just... Don't feel pressured. You're going to get a job. You're going to be fine. You're going to have friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rounding it out. No. You're going to live at home forever. <laughs> like, these are all things that are going to be so fine. Yeah. What's like the... Do you guys know, like, the meme where it's, like, the dog and it's, like, it's going to be fine and it's, like, flames? Yes. Have you seen that? Yes. That was legit me. That's graduating college. Like, <laughs> April, May. Like, literally April, May. Yeah. I was that dog, like, sitting in the room with fire, like, it's going to be fine. But, like truly like it's so well it's so well but um hopefully this you know kind of got those wheels turning was maybe a little pat on the back like you did it a little stroke that maybe you haven't been getting <laughs> and <laughs> we're here to give you that um but seriously take these words really you know you're gonna be fine you'll figure it all out it all works out everything happens for a reason our biggest mantra. Literally. Literally our biggest mantra. Anything happens, both of us like, uh, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. That happened for a reason. It's fine. <laughs> he didn't call me back for a reason. It didn't happen for a reason. That's you good. Know? But you know, everything happens for a reason. When you break it down. Yeah. So just go with the flow. Don't stress out too much. I mean, inevitably you're going to stress a little. I get it. Literally me is like, don't stress about it. Stress. Sitting in the corner, like sweating, sweating. like crying inside. But, um, with that, that's all and we have. on that note. Um, let us know if you like these more, like, chatty, like, sit-down advice videos. I think, would this, like, kind of be our first one that we've done? Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. That's a little, like, off the map for us? Yeah. Change of pace. Yeah, but if you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe. Let us know. And we will see you next Thursday. Bye!